Hi, I'm Redheaded Riding Hood, Red for short. I'm going to read you William Barclay's Daily Celebration. People matter. People are the most important realities in the world. We must remember this, and so must some others. The scholar must remember it. Kermit Evie E. B. E-B-Y. The great American teacher in his book, The God in You. I like that. <laughs> that reminds me of that song. It's the God in me. I think it's Mary Mary. I think. I don't know. Um, tells how he feels about teaching. I know he says that research is important. <clears throat> yet I also know that a man is more important than a footnote. He is. The social reformer must remember it. Do not try to convert them, was the advice given to a to worker priests in Paris. Love, for you are placed beside one another for this. I like that. The social reformer can be tempted to forget people and concentrate on conditions, but it is the people who matter. Change them and the conditions will change. The ecclesiastic must remember it. The ecclesiastic's danger is that he may begin to believe that the most important things in life are ecclesiastical systems, forms of church government, rituals, liturgies, vestments, etc. In fact, it is living souls that matter. Mm -hmm. However splendid forms of worship are, they are useless if men don't find through them the way to God. The theologian must remember it. The danger for the theologian lies in making an idol of a creed or so intellectualizing Christianity that ordinary people feel lost from it. What a tragedy this is. Um, yeah, it's something that I, I kind of feel my new church is very um, like that. You know, unfortunately, it's the pastor. Is so, you know, I've had people say it's like going to a um, college course in like theology. And, it, you know, it's good in a way, but um, it's just like the common person can't, you know, it takes a lot, and I've talked to others, um, uh, this young couple anyways, that kind of, I think they feel similarly, but I mean, but it's still really good, and I feel like it's more correct theology, but not, um, I don't know, it's just, I'm having, I'm having feelings, <laughs> I mean, I, I like, my church, but um, I'm probably going to be looking around more. It's hard to, for a single person to just find a place to fit in, so I'm finding I, I'm getting more connection, feeling more connected to people at CODA than I was at church, so it's kind of like becoming more like my thing, and it's helping me more. So right now, that's where I am. Um, the danger for the theologian lies in making an idol of the creed are so intellectualized in Christianity that ordinary people feel lost from it. Yeah, what a tragedy this is. Let no one belittle the theologian, but the fact remains that it is the evangelist in the street, and it's funny, I don't like to use that word anymore, who brings more to men, men to Christ for his concern is simply people. Um, it's interesting, and um, there are, like, so many, like, you don't realize it, but there's so many views out there that so many people, um, even Christians, even so-called so evangelical Christians, don't really agree on them. They have the illusion of, like, they're in unity, but they don't all, you know, and I'm, I really think that the average Christian, um, you know, of all denominations, 
does not really believe in hell? Comment below. Go ahead and comment below if you believe in hell or not. Um, because, you know, it might be in their theology, like Catholic theology. I feel like a lot of Catholics, even though that's where it came about, that's where the theology came from. And the P Protestants kept it when really it might be more correct if they threw out the hell and kept the purgatory. Because now, while I argued with people like purgatory is in the Bible, that's not a thing, you know. Where, where now I think that was more correct because it's a temporary judgment, maybe a temporary um, burning away, like a catharsis. Um, that's where the word Catholic comes from, a burning, a burning away of the impurities, um, and the judgment is not is temporary, not um, forever and ever and all eternity. Come on. <laughs> And, um, but it's interesting because I sort of, when I left evangelicalism and saw all the things that were wrong and the Christian nationalism in that, and, and um, that's where the Trump cult came from, um, I, I stopped being, it stopped a lot of anxiety too, you know, like people are going to hell, I have to evangelize them. So I'm not as much the evangelist um, that I was, but it's still um, wonderful to share this with, this is truly good news that all will be saved, saved, every knee shall bow, every tongue confess, and all will be saved. It makes more sense. Jesus died for all. He wasn't um, a failure in his coming to save mankind because he did. <laughs> You know, if if most people are going to hell, um, like they use that word, enter through the narrow gate, for broad is a way and wide is a path that leads to destruction and many go by it. Well, that doesn't say anything about hell. That's like now. That's like people are in hell now and that's the reason to evangelize. But for a while, I was kind of quiet about evangelizing, but, um, and I'm not, <clears throat> it's a lot different um, view. I have less <laughs> codependency around the issue, I guess, um, where I was just in a constant state of unrest. I'm still trying to, to, to calm down and relax and be like, it's gonna be okay. <laughs> Everything's gonna be okay. Um, uh, yeah. There was a lot of codependency around that. Like, I gotta save everybody. I gotta, I gotta do this. I gotta work. And um, it's much more relaxed now. Yet, um, you know, William, Bar William Barclay mentions because people matter. And we're in the now, now, now matters. People are in hell now. And yeah, there's lots of work to be done and people are deceived now too. And that's why I decided to speak up on other issues. Um, so yeah, anyways. Let me let you go, because I have to post this video. Don't say that no one cares for you, because I do, and God does too. Don't forget to pray for Red, because Red is praying for you. Bye.